For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns. Let's have a look at today's Fastball XRV trading plan and how we have managed to wrap up for the Monday session. So Mondays are tedious, right? Mondays are difficult in terms of follow through sometimes, and we do see some gaps and things that make it a little bit harder. This first example in C-O-N-E, Cyrusone Incorporated is a good example. So depending on how you set this trade up last night, you may or may not have been filled on the open this morning. So if you did not get this trade because of this gap right here, then don't worry about it as long as that's how you intended for the trade to be structured. You did everything the way that you planned and that should really be your measure of success. Now it did open within the allowable slippage that we have on this position. 5407 was the threshold of the Friday high. So really anywhere from uh, 54.17 up to about 54.27 would be what would be allowable for this position. It did tick that level and then moved up to our profit objective just shy of the first pivot line at $54.70. So it's not a huge trade anyways, about 40 cents per share traded. And as I said, if this violated your rule and you didn't take it, then don't worry about it because the most important thing is being consistent with the rules that you apply to these things. We see my stop on this had been set down at $53.53. So just in case you're comparing stops with me, you should be able to see the rationale for why I put the line there under all this support and resistance and back down into this range. Next one on deck was Dish Network Corporation, ticker symbol D-I-S-H. You can see that I had my stop set pretty much right on top of that central pivot. So in reality, first thing this morning, I was looking at this for the reaction. If you were going to use this as a stop, you'd probably want to move it up a couple pennies so that you have to get through the pivot through that first inflection that it had. Didn't turn out to be an issue though as Dish came down, hit $34.66, gave us plenty of room with or without slippage to get into the position and then moved in our favor to that first target right at 34 bucks. If you took Dish off at the target, you pulled about 60 cents per share on the trade. If you decided to trail it, we're currently up about a buck going into the close. So again, this one depends on how you intended the trade to play out. If you automated it, you're probably out. If you're trailing it, then uh, probably going to wind up seeing this one go into the closing bell. Unless, of course, we get a move back up above this range right here, $33.86. Anything above here, we're going to see if it inflects then at the pivot and comes back down again. But really, your make or break point is going to be a failure of uh, 33.86. So let's see how this plays out over the rest of the day. Next up, Keysight Technologies Incorporated, ticker symbol K-E-Y-S. This one opened on the low side of what would be allowable slippage. It came back up, traded into the Friday range, never came anywhere near the 52.75 stop that I had on this one. This could have had a slightly higher stop as well with that uh, 52.87 pivot being right up there, but I was pretty comfortable with uh, 52.75. That's tighter than most of these XRVs, but when you get back up into this range and start violating all these support and resistance levels, I really thought that... Uh, you know, if it got up above here, it was probably going to be off to the races. The move down to the 5175 pivot has taken most of the day to materialize, but KEYS did hit the target just a few minutes ago, about 50 cents per share on the trade. Next up, NATI. This one was a bit of a disappointment. It turned around from the 50% to target level and reversed us out at break even. NATI had made an $8 move on Friday, and I really thought this one had the legs to get to a pretty big target today. But by the time we got to 50% to the target, the seller said adios to this one, and it started climbing back up into the Friday range. So a big goose egg for NATI on the Monday session. Nordstrom Incorporated, ticker symbol JWN. This one I had a $50.95 stop on. Stock opened and traded lower, got you right down into the range from the Friday session, came back up, triggered, and, um, you know, this was one of those deals where you would have, in hindsight, said this infield fly reversal should have got you out right about there at 51.78. Wouldn't have been a big profit, but at least it would have been a profit instead. JWN got you out on a money management stop at zero. And finally, SBRA, Sabra Healthcare REIT. This one is another one of those examples of I calls them like I sees them. I calls them like they was, right? It's It uh, came up to this range on Friday, had a very tight stop. It was only a 15 cent stop on this. It was either going to go or not go, in my opinion. 
$18.22. You could have gone lower and obviously been kept in the trade down at eighteen oh nine. This, in either case, was not going to be a big stop out. Um, in my case, came down, took us out for just a, a 15 or 20 cent clipping here. So minus 20 cents on SBRA. If you took the second entry, you are still in. And I would say, in this case, you want to raise that stop up and say if it violates 1828 at this point, with just about a half hour to go in the session, then it's better to be out of this than in it. So there you have it. I hope that that is going to answer your questions about stop losses. You guys on the uh, Fastball XRV Trading Service, please send me questions for Saturday's webinar. Last weekend, we didn't have a single question come in. I want to have lots and lots of stuff to talk about in that Saturday session to make this stuff clear. I think this is probably the easiest style of trading that I have ever come up with, and it is definitely booking some very, very impressive results. But uh, I want to make sure everybody's on the same page and everybody's able to use this to the best of their ability. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. Hope you had a great trading day on Monday and an even better one on deck for tomorrow. The best trader education anywhere, only from TraderInsight.com.